Why up, Baltimore? One, two, three. No! One of the biggest developments in 2016 has been the emergence of a budding star in Glen Burnie. It is the Big Mo Show with yours truly, Mo Gabba. I'm about to start dancing up here. Yeah. Here. The Baltimore Ravens select Ben Powers. Right Mo truly united the city of Baltimore. Yes. Yes. He was in love with the moment, and he made you in love with the moment. Stay listening. We'll be right back. <laughs> Guess where we got to go, Jeremy? Hey, Mo! We got to go to Mo's. Hey, guys! What's, What's up, Mo? Mo? So it was five years ago, and Mo was nine years old. And he just randomly called the show. So we went to Mo from Glen Burnie. And as soon as he starts talking, you realize it's a kid. It was a good night, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friends Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> he just loves sports. He followed the Orioles and the Ravens, loved those guys. He developed his favorite players. Picking the cooking. Who, Who you got? got? I'm going, here I am, I'm <laughs> His laugh is so infectious. The, the fans started to love him, and then people couldn't get enough of it. I don't want to take Jeremy's job too early. <laughs> at least finish high school. Exactly. He never let us know at any point or any time that he had any sort of issues, whether you want to discuss the fact that he's been blind pretty much his entire life or that he'd been battling cancer for the fourth time. Me being a new mom, I just want to take pictures all the time. And when I took the picture, it was like something looks weird to me. Usually with a picture, you have a red eye. His is white. So I asked my brother, I was like, do you see something wrong here? It's like, it looks weird to me. Yeah, it looks a little weird. She kind of set up an appointment just to make sure, you know, to rule out anything. So we go to Johns Hopkins, and they um, had an optometrist look in his eye, and we found out he had cancer. Bilateral retinoblastoma. If it's just in one eye, they explained that, you know, there's a good chance that if he's in remission, it wouldn't come back and that that would just be that. For my son, it was in both, which is a super rare one, it was a genetic mutation. So what I learned is that even though you beat it one time, it could develop somewhere else in the body for the rest of his life. I would say it started with the Orioles. He started calling in. We would do a pick to click. You're trying to pick a guy that has a great game, hits a home run. You told Buck you clicked. Yes, yes, heck yes. <laughs> heck yes. And as that started to grow, he had a chance to throw out a first pitch. Fans, <laughs> please join us in welcoming Mo Gabba. Let's do this. Play ball. <laughs> so cool, especially because he wasn't as widely known. And then all of a sudden, the whole city knew about him. That was when he kind of announced his presence in the city of Baltimore. Thank you for letting me throw out the first pitch. Let's go, O's! You see, like, after he beat it the first time, it was like clockwork. Every three to four years, it would come back again in another part of his body. So the next time it happened, it was in his, um, in his sinuses and his lymph nodes. I'm gonna be okay. I'm going through chemo today. Uh, don't worry about me. <laughs> Is that, is that it? <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Every time he was kicking his ass. That was the thing. Is it what's next? He's ready for the next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program Mo Gabba. What's Mo, up, Mo? Good morning. Mo, Mo. Mo's a celebrity, man. Hi. Coach Harbaugh, if you wouldn't mind informing Mo of some of the plans coming up. You are going to announce the fourth round pick at the Draft Fest what? to the world written on a card in Braille. Yeah. What do you think? I like to do that, yeah. All right, yes. Okay. I didn't know how big it was gonna be until we got there to the Inner Harbor downtown. And I saw a crowd of people who were there to see my son. Let's go, Mo! Let's go, Mo! I was just kidding it! I can't believe it! We're here to make some history. Mo Gabba is going to be the first person to ever announce a trap pick written in Braille. Mo, take it away. With the 123rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Ben Powers, Oklahoma, guard! The joy 
he said my name with made me feel like I was the number one overall pick. Really, it really did. The Baltimore Ravens select Ben Powers, Oklahoma. Go! You can just see the enthusiasm that he has but it also chokes you up a little bit because you know the young man has had a tremendous amount of adversity in his life, and it was a powerful moment. The whole country got a chance to see, you know, who he was and what his energy was like. There was a lot of teary eyes, I guarantee you, that day when we picked Ben Powers in the fourth round. Yeah, Mo would just goofy like that. He would just randomly just start giggling. It, like, nothing would be funny. He'll just, Mo would just be just quiet, and Mo would just really start giggling, and everybody would start to laugh, too. He would just come into the clinic, and he would just dance around and be singing. He just had so much positive energy. It just brightened everybody up. What gets me through things is laughter and staying as positive as possible. The, the lowest point for him was when the tumors returned in his lungs, and then we saw, saw a spot on his brain. The cancer was getting more aggressive, and um, some of the treatments that he was on, they weren't working as well anymore. Hello, man. I think That's you have special guests coming. Special guests. Get your What's up? How you doing? Ben Powers! Yeah, let me get a hug. How you doing, buddy? Good. That day was so much fun. Come on, Mo, you're the quarterback. Well, we're huddling up around Mo right here. Uh, here. Grab Mo, get a hand on him. Get a hand on him. Here we go. He wanted to call a play, so, so we gave him a play to call, and he wanted a touchdown. Double right to Jed Alley. Okay. Let's go, Jed. Hey, let's go. You got to make it count, baby. Mo called him to play. He was the offensive coordinator at the time. We just had to finish the drive for him. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. It's up here. It's uh -oh. deep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Good luck. It was amazing for us to see that because he got something major going on and he's still out here smiling, laughing, making jokes, and making our day as well. It was touching. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So with the type of cancer that Mo had, I knew that his options would eventually run out. It just, I just was put it in the back of my mind. I didn't want to think about that. But when we found out that he, um, he ran out of options, I was crushed. I didn't quite know what to do with it because they said those words and they never said the words before. It's always, okay, it's just another fight. We just had to buckle down, be there for Mo. We know he's gonna fight this and get through it. And that's always been the case. And then now you hear, there's nothing else we can do. As we got a sense that this thing was probably not going to end the way that we wanted it to end, we were trying to show Mo how special he really was to all of us. There are some amazing things that, that happened in those last few weeks. When Mo graduated from middle school, we had a whole parade that went by his house. I can't even count how many cars went by his house, and it was just such a cool thing to see. I remember the Ravens mascot being in the front yard with him. I don't speak bird, but I think he likes me. <laughs> so many cool people, and I know a couple of the Ravens guys went over. This is for you from, from us at the Ravens. Congratulations, buddy. You know, actually, this doesn't go to me. This doesn't go to me. This goes to my mom. Oh. Oh. You are the MVP, Sanzi. <laughs> After this point, I'm trying to think of something great to do for Mo. And then I remember going to bed and having a dream, and I woke up, and I'm like, well, I wonder if I could give him my show for a night and let him, let him host his own show. I mean, he loves radio. He loves sports talk. What's going on, Baltimore? <laughs> it is the Big Mo Show with yours truly, Mo Gabba. Broadcasted from his bedroom, and Mo was in the comfort of his bed, just giving the most amazing show like a moth to a flame. I mean, this kid took a hold of that microphone. 
he just rolled. We're going to kick butt and chew bubble gum, but we're all out of bubble gum. That's right. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do this evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking to fans, talking to athletes, and it, it was amazing. I hope that you know, you know how much you're loved and how much you know people admire you that you don't even know. I look up to you. You're younger than me, and I look up to you and your strength. Thanks. Ray Lewis calling in. Ray was like, you and I are going to pray together. And then prayed on air. God is always available, and people like us are in this fight forever. God bless you all. Take care Amen. of Big Mo. Amen. 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 Amen, baby. I love <laughs> you, man. You take care Thanks. of yourself, okay? Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the Big Mo Show. I love you, Baltimore. That night, all my family had came over, and I just had to step outside and get some air. And I was sitting talking to my brother, and I just happened to look up. And I, said, I told my brother, I was like, you see that, right? He said, see what? I said, look up. The sky was the most vibrant orange or purple I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anything like that, and I haven't seen anything since. Which is pretty nuts, because that's the color of, of the Orioles and Ravens. I really haven't seen the sky that beautiful in my life. I'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it. You've got the purple and you've got the orange over Baltimore when he passes. I mean, I just makes me sure that there's just more to it. That's Mo painting the sky right there. That's him saying that he's home. So we got, we got Moe's Rose, but these are some of our favorite Raven moments with Mo. Uh -huh. Moe's Rose was a combination of people figuring out how we can continue to call on his inspiration and what he means to the community. <laughs> We're at Baltimore! With the 123rd pick. We're into Moe's time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this every day. I love doing it. You want to be like me, just smile. Just walk around smiling. <laughs> I was just sitting there, just taking it all in. And like, it just really hit me. And like, they really did this for my son. The Baltimore Ravens really did this for my son. All the people in Baltimore feel connected to it. And so Mo becomes a part of their family. You know, it becomes a part of their conversations around the dinner table. And it'll be something that they'll be talking about, you know, for the rest of their lives. That's what it's all about. This sign says Baltimore. And normally it's white lettering with a gold outline. But we're gonna make sure the Mo in Baltimore is gold. So everybody can see it and everybody knows. And he's gonna be on here with us. We're gonna have you finish this, this O, the gold. It's unreal that my son was able to touch so many people. And he did nothing out of the ordinary. He was just being him as being a loving, caring kid that he was. My boy's gonna live on, and his spirit's gonna live on. What's up, Mo, man? The water! You know, bro? Get out the great call, bro. Thanks. God calls his soldiers, his angels home for a reason. That's what, that's what Mo is, an angel. He showed me what it means to attack every day and take advantage of every day and live every day to the fullest. He had a contagious spirit about him that lifted up other people. And that's a gift. You need to walk that walk, like Mo walks his walk. That's the life I want to live. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>